I'll, I'll show this game because it's really cool. So I'm going to hide the notation. So there's no no spoilers to this game. But Nakamura won the game in 11 moves. So I guess that's one spoiler. But uh, but he won with black against the London, against the strong grandmaster of Yeni Berev. Over 2,600 feet, eh? Uh, this was played in, I think it was a millionaire open, like a rapid or blitz playoff. And White just completely crumbled in the opening. But it was a tricky line from Hikaru. Um, yeah, apologies for the maybe the small spoiler. But I haven't spoiled how how White actually lost so quickly. So um, Hikaru played Queen B6. So this is similar to what my opponent did, except my opponent kept the pawn back. So same idea, attacking the pawn. You have this in your London course. I do. That's true, actually. But now I'm I'm revealing it for free, I guess. <laughs> Haven't shown this in a while, actually. Um, I think in my London course I show the move knight bd2 as an improvement. In this game, White played b3, which is in hindsight, as we'll see, probably not great because it's a bit weakening. But knight d2, it's a cool gambit. Because here, if if takes e4, this is engine approved. Like white's considered better. And if Stockfish says white's better and white's down a pawn, it's usually really good for white. So um I'm curious what Hikaru would have played if, if knight d2 was on the board. But b3, development, and then then this move. So Hikaru is just violating opening principles, like develops the queen first. Moves the knight twice to the edge of the board. But hitting the bishop, he just wants a bishop pair. Bereyev decided that he doesn't want to give away the bishop pair so easily. Played bishop g5. h6. Bishop h4. And now, nice move. So developing another knight. Um, leaving these pieces kind of sidelined. And now, I think this is where Berev starts to go really wrong. But play is a natural looking move, 95. This is very common in London. Lee Chess calls it dubious. Uh, 95 attacks the knight, but as we'll see after takes. Um, and he may have missed the fact that if white takes on e5, I'll give this to chat. Black to move and win material. So this would be a blunder. How can black just win a clean piece? Good job, Tice K and oh, so, so many other people saying queen b4. Yeah, queen b4 hitting this and this. A typical tactical motif when the queen comes here early. So, um, of course, white doesn't take this knight, but takes other knight. But then... Black has this move, knight g4. And all of a sudden, the queen is a bit stuck. It's blocked by the knight, so it can't retreat. On the diagonal, it can't retreat this way either because the bishop is here. So bishop g3 was played. This is the final mistake of the game. And then g6, queen h4. I'm pretty sure in this position, Hikaru played one more move, and Berev resigned. Has to make it one of the quickest Grandmaster London defeats, like when White loses playing the London of all time, maybe? I don't know. At least in like a serious over-the-board competition. So, uh, black to move, how do you make a, a strong Grandmaster resign in this position? Decent number of people saying g5, which almost traps a queen, but g5, there's a queen here. And then it's hard to trap the queen because if knight moves back, you you escape. The bishop here, you can't easily move here without losing the knight. So g5 is not the move. 
Um, but looks like most people saying bishop g7, which is a correct move. While this move is usually played just to like develop and castle, it's also played to threaten to effectively trap the queen. And white has no good way to save the queen without losing material. Uh, so Bereyev just resigned here. So 11 moves, bishop g7 resigns. Um, he could have played on, I think he could have played bishop here, but Stockfish already giving minus six, because takes, takes, so white's down a pawn, there's issues along this diagonal, this would be very unpleasant to play against Hikaru. Wait, king d2, yeah, white's just toast, especially at a GM level. So anyway, that's um, that's kind of a cool game. Something that is useful to know, especially like how a grandmaster loses so quickly against a London. Um, and that might be YouTube worthy. I don't think I've shown this specific game for a YouTube video before. So if this goes on YouTube, I don't know how I'll do it. Maybe I'll include the previous game, um, or maybe this will be a standalone video. But uh, yeah, how Hikaru crushed a Grandmaster's London, winning in 11 moves. So hi YouTube, yet again. Say hi to Twitch chat. Thank you people subbing with Prime. Yeah, the and, and the reminder for YouTube people, if you have Amazon Prime, you, you can subscribe for free. I do appreciate when people... Uh, do that to support the channel. Um, I've been seeing more people like subscribe with Prime, even when I'm not streaming, which is is kind of friendly or very friendly. 